with tea quilts and I'm here to do a few hauls for you today I am going to do two scrapbooking related hauls one from stamping up and one from Tuesday morning and for Christmas I had a friend purchase me some fabric that I got to choose from a quilt shop so I will show you the three or four pieces that I got from there and I also will do a retreat haul. I just came off of a quilting retreat so I just want to share these various hauls with you so I'll start with the first video. So I am going to start with the stamping up haul. When you get your stamping up haul I do like that they always put in a packing sheet but I also will print out my official order form and that way I know that I got exactly what it is that I ordered as compared to getting something that could have been a computer glitch. Now I have to say I've never had a mistake with any of my stamping up orders but I still like to be sure. So I'm going to start with the things that I purchased and then I am going to show you the two sets of items that I got for free for purchasing other items. And the first thing that I did was I updated my paper pumpkin for the year. Paper pumpkin is some sort of paper crafting that you receive each month. It's all in a box and everything that you need except for your adhesive is included in the box. And I get that every month anyway, so I decided to order that during celebration because I got the free items that I'll talk to you about later. So the first thing that I ordered was the Apron of Love. And I actually already used this. I used it for my husband's Valentine's Day card, and I also used it for my daughter's birthday card. And I also got the set of dies because I wanted to also cut the items out and so whenever I buy the dies to the stamps I will go ahead and just put them inside of the case and this one is stuck in so that it doesn't move sometimes I stick them down and sometimes I don't so this apron of love bundle was $45 my yearly subscription to Paper Pumpkin was $215, but you'll pay more if you pay by the monthly rate. So I decided to go ahead and sign up for the whole year because I've been getting it for two and a half years now. Next thing that I got was I realized that I didn't have the basic gray stamp pad so I ordered that one it's just seven dollars it did not come in a group and I didn't realize that when I ordered it I bought two six by eight basic black abloms those did not come in but I ordered the sheet protectors that will go into those books and plastic does not show up very well on the camera so sorry about that but I ordered two of those. These refill sh sheets are $6 each. And the actual binders are $10. I got another set. It was a celebration set. So it may or may not be available for sale later on. I got this blossoming basket. And so it comes with what you see here on the front cover that's a better place and then in the set I also bought the basket weave embossing folder as well to go with that and I haven't opened these up yet but this set was $21.50 I bought one more stamp set it's called sorry for everything there seems to be occasions when I don't have the appropriate sayings for get well cards or sorry that I'm forgot your birthday sorry to see you go 
so I thought that I would purchase this stamp set because I could really use this stamp set and it cost $20 for the stamp set and it is the clear stamp so those tend to cost a little more and the last thing that I purchased is this designer series paper called summertime foils specialty and all of the paper has some sort of foil included so it's three sheets of four different prints so I'm hoping that you can see this And this pack costs $13. It is cardstock instead of paper. But I still didn't realize that this was as expensive as it is. And what I really liked was this print here. Just beautiful. So that is everything that I have purchased. And now I am going to go through what I got. If you just place a regular stamping up order. You get credits and after you start to spend $150, they start to give you reward points that you can get free items. So this is what I got with the reward points. I got the Bubble Over stamp set. And then I also got the dies to go with that and if I had paid for this set it would have been $40.50 but this was free and this is paint play and I really only purchased this for this stamp here I want to do something with that particular stamp so I wanted it and I'm sure I'll use some of the other stuff as well this stamp set would normally cost $22, but I got it for free. The last item that I got free in the regular order is the Affectionately Yours Specialty Designer Paper. And it normally would cost $5.20. Now this is actually paper. It's not as thick as the other cardstock, but it's not as thin as regular paper either. It has some weight to it. So the reason why I got this, since it was free, because it goes with some of the colors on the stamp pads that are being retired. So I thought that I would get a, some of the print papers to work with those. And these papers are two-sided. So I will flip it over and show you the other side. So this one is clear. It's a little bit heavier, more cardstock weight. These two are clear. And then these are the other sides. So they match the ink pads that I have and I figured, well, let me go ahead and get some paper that match that while the paper is still available because as of May they will no longer be making anything with those particular stamp pads. So that was $67.42 worth of free items just for placing my order that I would get anyway. And what I got for free because of celebration because it gives you additional reward credits and you can only get the celebration items during the celebration month and celebration goes through till the end of March to March 31st so I bought the first thing I got was the bubble and fizz designer series paper and I got this paper because it actually matches the dies that I purchased 
or the dies that I actually got for free rather because I didn't purchase them so I went ahead and got the paper that also matched the dies I got a stamp set photopolymer that's the beautiful peacock and you have your peacock body here and it actually gets put into the feathers but you can use two different stamps that's why it's not together I've actually made a card with that when I went on my retreat. This one is called Epic Celebrations. And I really wanted it for the Snicker. I have a Snickers die. And I thought it would be really cool to also have a stamp. So if I wanted to do some layering, I would have it. That one is a clear stamp. And then I have Happy Wishes 1 and 2. It comes in a 2 part kit and it has all of these various greetings it can be used during numerous times of the year so I thought that would be a good one to select I think I have probably one or two items on celebration that I have not gotten for free at this point the next one is heartfelt blooms and I actually got to use this one at the retreat I went to in January. We had a card class. And so I really like the detail of the flowers in there. So I got that. And it is a clear stamp. And the last stamp that I got from Celebration is the Party Pandas. And I really think they're really cute. And I can't wait to maybe do some fun things with these for children cards so that is my stamping up order and the items that i got from celebration that i just showed you the last items you cannot purchase those items those are reward gifts that you can only get when you spend every fifty dollars you get a reward point and they have some gifts that are at the fifty reward point amount and then others that are at the hundred reward points amount so it just varies with what's going on so that is it for my stamping up haul i'm going to regroup and we're going to start with my next haul mm -hmm. 